you were able to do some pretty amazing, I mean, things. And like you had like a, a strong track record, you know, at, at Icarian, you'd help to negotiate mm -hmm. a $44 million deal um, at Paradigm. I mean, the list is on like negotiated contracts that are a million, $30 million, et cetera. So, I mean, you had, you had done it. I mean, like you were in the mix in this Silicon Valley world from that. And so, you know, what was it about that for you that I guess either, you know, made you want to go chase a different tiger, right? I mean, again, like you had, you had kind of pulled yourself up and in a relatively short time, right? From, you know, from actuate in 97 to paradigm in 2003. I mean, that's, you know, six years of like really rapid growth. You know, what was it that for you, you're like, there's something more, you know, th than this, whenever you, you are seemingly from the outside, like at like a senior, you know, top level here doing, you know, massive deals uh, day to day. So I want to give you like this really cool, snazzy little answer, but I don't have one. Here's the deal. I hated the way people did deals. Um, I, I, I remember yeah. sitting, <clears throat> I remember sitting in boardrooms or, or in a conference rooms. And I remember sitting there with, you know, I was usually the youngest in the room. I was usually the only female and I was usually the least educated. That's just generally how I walked into things. Okay. And I remember yeah. walking in Jake, like, like seriously, I would sit there and I would be listening like Scient, Viant, Clarient, PeopleSoft. Like these are the companies that we were closing deals with. Okay. And we were in the room and people would ask questions. I was like, and I would think it's such a stupid question. Like, why are they asking that question? And, and, <laughs> There are stupid questions, by the way. I don't oh, care no, there was just, there was like, there actually like what do we need questions. to get this done, bro? And I'm like, what, what you're not addressing any of his stuff. Uh, and so I would sit back and I would listen because yeah. I was, I was embarrassed. And I was like, I, maybe, how come everybody's asking these questions that don't feel like the right questions? And I remember specifically, I remember detailed the day that this happened. My daughter had been sick. She'd been up all night. I think I came to work with like puke in my hair in different areas of my hair and I was over it. Okay. And I remember I walked in and I didn't have very much time and people were asking questions. I remember I stood up and I said, can, can I just, can everybody just dumb it down for me for a second? Can you guys just dumb it down for me? Because I'm not really understanding this. And I asked him like three questions and the entire room at the exact same time, it was like orchestrated. Okay. The entire room, everybody just sat back and they were like, yeah. And, and they go, Hey, can you guys kind of restate this again? And from that day on, I had such positive Hey, Steph, you know what? Thank you for getting him to break that down. We really thought we were missing something. Didn't want to interrupt the, move, the, the mood of the room. Didn't want to disrupt the energy. From that day on, people would grab me and pull me into meetings and go, hey, does this make sense? Or, you know, how do we do this? And that right there, Jake, that was when I realized I still didn't perfect it. Okay, I was very young. But, but right, that was when I was like, I'm not going to ask their questions anymore. I'm going to ask my questions because I feel like people, number one, believe in me. Number two, believe that I'm there long-term and not just for the sale. And then number three, I believe that I can create a trusting relationship because Silicon Valley is so incredibly incestual. These people are staying in positions two or three years and then they're going to some other place. I'd rather not exactly. do business now and have integrity and honesty and discernment. And then in two years, they remember that I walked away from the deal. So I just did things. I did deals differently and I really cared about the deals. And to date, I've written, I think, $1.9 billion in deals. Wow. That's a B, everybody. B.